G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle and welcome to Forever Skies, a brand new game that actually comes out tomorrow I think, so it's actually before brand new, but a brand new game that looks very exciting to me. I'm always on the lookout for new indie games that tickle my fancy just that little bit and this one has done just so and the devs were nice enough to send me a key to the game to have a cheeky squiz at it before it comes out properly. So this is like Wally the game. You know that adorable cute little robot that squishes garbage together? It's like that, but the game. We've ruined the planet. We have to get back there and save Earth. And to do so, we have to go exploring and surviving in an airship that we build ourselves. So it's got like survival elements, base building elements, and exploring elements that I think well, it's right up my alley, basically. It's right up my alley like a cat looking for a meal. I'm going to go play. Haven't even had a squeeze in it at all yet. I'm dropping in for the very first time. So let's just go normal. Food and drink bars drop at normal rate. Loss of 20% of basic resources types upon death. Death? Psh, we don't die in games. Who do you think we're talking about? Same as on a higher level typically, but in addition, death means end of game. That looks exciting, but I'm just going to go normal for now. Dive right in and see how it goes. I don't know. The idea about building myself an airship to go exploring a planet just sounds so cool. It's like an airborne version of Subnautica. We've crash landed on a mysterious planet. Oh, take first aid kit. Yes, please. So I can press E to pick up and hold E to use. I guarantee you I'll do that the wrong way around at some point, but we've crash landed in a little survival pod somewhere. We'll have to find out where we are in a second. Broken signal. Sagittarius 2 went silent for months. Then this one signal and then silence again. None of us know what awaits you out there, but if there is a chance that you have found the virus, then maybe we can survive. Find the virus sample at all costs. The fate of us all depends on you. From the Ark. That's a cute little love letter. Thank you very much. So there's a virus going on. All I know about this game is just like from a couple of trailers and like the brief blurb on Steam. So I don't really know exactly what I'm getting myself into. I kind of like the journey of discovery. But all right. So apparently there's a virus we're trying to cure. <laughs> it's... There's a couple of other issues around. We'll get to them as we come to them. So tap E. Door is locked. I like these like immersive learning experiences. It's not just like a flat out tutorial of a list of commands you need to do, but like, oh, pressing E normally doesn't work. So you got to hold E. It's a good, oh. We arrived at the source of the signal. <laughs> it's a good long hold. So who the shit am I, the Hulk? I've just kangaroo kicked that shit off a freaking cliff. Right, okay, apparently I've got quads like tree trunks. Go to trees on this planet, live below my waist. Oh, there's a lot of gubbins around here too. We've got floating all sorts of things. Are you robots? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but it looks, oh, it looks really cool. I'm into it already. Machine parts, I'll take you. Thank you. More machine parts and more machine parts. What machine, I don't know, but I'll take them anyway. Better to line my pockets with gubbins and see if I can use it later. You're already locked, but I can't hold E on you to open you up. All right, never mind then. Oh, I've got like, what have I got? I've got food, water, health is looking fine, and energy. Is that like my space suit energy or is that like my stamina? Requires solid state battery. Use computer, no power. All right, probably fair enough then. See if I can find any batteries amongst all of this garbage. More machine parts. Cheeky another tablet. It's all gone to hell. Everything's been screwed up since we found that damned virus. We're all getting sick. Equipment is breaking down. And then there's this Noah situation. So we have Noah and we have an Ark. I'm sensing a theme here. The power blew out again and the door is locked. I'll check if the beacon tower has a compatible, uh, compatible battery. All right, battery in the beacon tower. That's probably that one. What are you things though? There's a little icon on the bottom right when I look at you. I don't know what you do. If there's an icon for it, oh, it looks like a little remote. So maybe you are robots. Maybe there's a way I can get like a garage door clicker and like power you up or power you down. I'm not sure. Listen, I've opened many a garage door that I've had to get right up against. Not sure what the range on those things is, but that looks a long far away. There's a thing blinking at me in the distance over there. Maybe that's the beacon tower. Oh. <laughs> um, 
what is what is happening with the gravity on this world or more importantly what world is this is this going to be like some planet of the apes reveal that ugh, this has been earth all along oh bud you're looking a little thirsty you're looking a little dehydrated there cobber here i've got some like water for you can you do you want this i can move i can use or i can split can i drop there you go there you go <laughs> you might be a little bit too far gone. Man's on a camel. Man needs a sip. Well, I don't think old Matt's going to need his melons. <laughs> he was thirsty for melons, but aren't we all? Uh, you. Battery. Take solid state battery. Thank you. Shut down the beacon. That might cause some consequences later, but oh, all consequences be damned. Drop off to... That's... Oh, jeez, I'm... I'm very thirsty. I'm halfway to being old mate up there. All right, hang on a second. You... Use that. That's got me nice and good. What do you give me? 10 food, 10 water, negative 10 health. Fresh fruit with low calorie value. Listen, I agree. Eating fresh fruit and vegetables, not my idea of a good time. But I promise you it's okay. Why do I lose health for eating fruits? Okay, well, I'll eat you. Virus infection detected. Oh. Oh. It's, it's infected with virus. Okay, that. That explains it. Never mind. I'll chuck you into them. Use the computer. I can now. Oh, undelivered message. We're going through someone's unsent emails. It's like reading someone's diary. Oh, there's some shenanigans afoot out here. We were down under the dust. Capital D on dust. Maybe that's a place rather than dust. But we were down under the dust. We found the lab where they first analyzed the virus 400 years ago. I'm getting, I'm getting a little peckish again. Hold on, I'm reading emails. Meetings wait for no one. That's when it all started going to hell. No one went crazy. The bastard stole our sample, our airship, and broke the radio. He just left us here to die. He's dangerous as all hell. The location of the sample is at the overgrown greenhouse. A scientist lived there who studied the flora for, from under the dust. No capital D on that one. So maybe I, I read too much into it. If you went to get there, uh, if you want to get there, try visiting some radio towers and wind farms to get necessary devices. Be careful, the world is no, the world no longer wants us. It is not a place for humans anymore. Expedition Sagittarius 2. So maybe this is Earth? Not sure. Not sure, but we're getting a little we're getting a little hungry. Might have to find some snacks that aren't infected with all sorts of gobbledy goo. Where do I go? Where do you want me to go? Uh, find the way to the part location. Check the photophobia database entry. Uh, to-do list. Yeah, go up to that. Where's the, what do you mean? Database entry. Photophobia. Resources. Items. Vo photophobia. Here we go. Looking directly into the sun causes visual disturbance and injuries. I don't think that's a virus. I think that's just having eyeballs. Can I like squeeze through that gap over there or something? I need to find the cure to photophobia. I'm pretty sure some, uh, some sunglasses might do the trick. Up to you. Maybe. Oh, you get... No, not quite. I'm like straddling a bit of wire at the moment. I can't squeeze through there either. There's another dead Jeffrey and... Diseases might become more severe. Ooh, okay, that's pretty significant. There's some more machine parts in there. How do I... How do I get up to the next bit then? I can't... I can't climb you. Ladder? Do I have to like get on top of something and jump across? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you want from me. The controls are fine. It's a little bit janky. Like it... It adheres to the ground a little bit too much and you trip over like a little block, you go like boop, 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 like you bounce around a little bit more than I would really like, but it's kind of manageable. Where do you want me to go? Where do you want me to be? Oh, here we go. These doors were locked before, but now they've been unlocked. Nice. First aid kit, I'll take you. More machine parts, I'll find what to do with them later on. Old mate's just as thirsty as his old mate up in the melon farm. Some more PDAs. It's like playing... Oh, old food ration. Yes, please. You're just eating you right off the bat. Uh, nom nom. There you go. Get you up and about. It's like playing uh, Doom 3 back in the day where there's PDAs all over the shop to tell you the story. Speaking of stories, what is what is going on here? So we have a big tree and we fired missiles at a pyramid and then they counted some days and then another tree gave birth to a person in some vines who they made a tree to fire missiles at the Egyptians. Okay, I don't understand what is going on there, but there's a whole lot of hieroglyphs that I can't really understand. Oh, we that were here a long time, though. Oh, this might explain it to me, though. Noah's madness. It's all because of that damned dust. 
No one heard voices. He was mumbling about nature surviving everything, even the fall of the world. He, he said he knew what to do so we could return to Earth once again. He wanted us to help him and follow the voices in his head. Lunatic. We locked him in a cell for his own good, but the bastard hid the extractor and ran off while everyone was asleep. You probably want to like search him before you lock him in a prison, but that's just me. All right, what else is around? What else can we find? Give me more exposition. Oh, it's an airship. Well, why are you guys all dead here if you have a working blimp up the top? Who doesn't want to be a blimpy boy flying through the sky so fancy free? There's a bottle and some very questionable looking water. It even says drink dirty water. I'll take the empty bottle and I will... No, don't drink it. Bottle the dirty water. Take all you. No idea what I'm going to do with you. Hope I can filter you out later. My immunity to the, uh, the disease is getting worse. Condenser membrane. An insect lure. I don't know what bugs are going to be out in this monstrosity of a joint, but I doubt I want to lure them over here too badly. What, what are those things? I want to know what those things are. Uh, another PDA. I'll read you in a second. Old food ration. Can't take the latex gloves. I feel I just take everything, dude. Everything has a use. This is giving me some good hints about what I have to do later, though, because there's these little, like, water catchments all over the place. We've got one, two, three, four. Ow. And then, like, another one down there. Is that... Ah. Okay. It's yelling. We're looking at the sun. All right. <laughs> it's like... I like how it yelled at me and I was like, hmm, that was weird. Let's do it immediately again. I'm going to be seeing sunspots for a year now. Nothing else really around. All right. Drop back down into the shelter of the building. All right. Don't look at the sun. Sun is bad. You. What are you going to tell me? Photophobia virus research. My research on, on the photophobia virus has shown it can be cured with lecithin? 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 I'm not sure. It's best found in dust moths and other things living in the dust layer. Okay. I prepared a lure to attract these objects. That's why you have the insect lure. Gotcha. Use it with the insect catcher on the airship. Lower it into the dust and wait for the catch. Uh, the food from this world eaten raw may be harmful. Or may be harmful. I'll eat... I'll leave a membrane for the, okay, for the water condenser, just in case the water will be needed to cook the food. Nice. Cheers, whoever gave me that. Nothing left in the cupboards, though. All right. Well, all aboard Muppet Airways. We're taken to the skies. Don't know who thought it'd be a good idea to put me in charge of the controls of a rather complex machine, but here we go. Here we go. Can I close you? Add a condenser membrane. All right, fair enough, then. Add lure container. Uh, you? That one. No? I, I, I don't know. It looks like that. There you go. I probably don't want to lower it from here, but okay, we're going to close the doors. Close you. Close. Ooh, close you. Where's the... There you go. Let's go. Let's go. Q to pick up. E to control. What is... What? what? Ah! I broke the cockpit. I, this is why you don't put me in charge of an airship. I immediately broke the cockpit. But this is good, though. I did like... I'm getting real thirsty. You're damn right I'm thirsty for this. So, like, as part of like, the trailers and stuff, you can expand and build your airship, which I'm very excited about. I'm going to put you right back where I found you. Press E to control the ship. Ah! That's the biggest virus spore I've ever seen in my life. How do I... So, W and S is speed, A and D is heading, control and shift is altitude, R is lock speed. No engines. All right, that's going to make it rather difficult for me to drive anywhere. Never mind then. I guess I may as well just lower you. Lower Lua. Yeah, all right. Catch you later. Cross the next membrane. I thought I'd... I thought I already did that bit, though. How do I... How do I build an engine? Oh, something's going on. Raise line. Raise line. Yeah. <laughs> We're going fishing. I was never good at fishing. We're going to try it anyway. A dust lettuce. Well, it's not quite a cabbage, but all right. Uh, I'll take you. Not sure how I caught... Not sure how I caught a lettuce with an insect lure, nor how the lettuce was yanking on the line like that. But all right, whatever then. Down you go again. Enjoy that. Guys, condense membrane. Drink dirty water. Ocean will wait for water to condense and drink it. All right. Well, this is going to be silly, but here we go. Surp slurp. 
It's got extra floaties for extra protein. Eat what's caught uh, to cure photophobia. So if I just eat you, use. Numb. Okay, so I've got to have some nibbles out of the stuff down below to keep myself able to look at the sun. Haha, <laughs> now I can stare at you all day long. And all oh, it's going to make me do is go blind. Got a wiggly little dust moth. Look at him. Look at him trying to swim away from me. Not happening. Get in my pocket. Raw food is harmful to health. Cook food in clean water. Ah, uh, that's going to be a whole thing. Uh, I didn't read the rest of it. Went away too quickly. All right, craft water purifier and place on the airship wall and place a fabricator on the airship. Okay, how, how? How do you want me to do that? Blueprints, to-do lists. That's the stuff I'm already doing. Airship is not ready to fly. Craft missing devices. The water found in the world needs to be purified to be safe to drink. All right. How? How, how would you, how would you like me to do this? I have... I have all those machine parts I've been finding. Do I need to like... Oh, hang on a second. Hang on a second. I need to actually read the PDAs. Ah, gotcha. It's like a to-do list to fly. There's the fabricator right next to the PDA. Take you. I'll place you on... It said on the wall of the airship, didn't it? Well, that's a window. I don't know that's that's going to really do what I want to do. Ah, uh, here we go. Uh, I'm going to put you right there gonna try and no don't jump on the freaking controls with it before we almost broke the bloody thing leave you there try and keep most of the space free for the moment i've unlocked a oh my goodness i've locked a lot of stuff i'm liking how this game is coming together so far did i lower you again i didn't let's chuck you back down and get some extra snacks use basic fabricator deck extractor i need five machine gun parts and a transformer how do I... I could also make a water purifier with synthetics. Those look like the things that are flying around. Metals and machine parts. I can make... Ooh, another fishing rod. Electric cooker. So I need to find some resources. So this is going to turn into like... I take my airship and fly from building to building to try and find the gubs that I need. That's going to be really bloody cool. You're doing things. Oh. Yeah, no, I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. Insect catch lured something. We've got ourselves another lettuce. Thank you very much. I need to find a transformer. There's got to be something else around here. Ah, oh, it was right there again. Take the transformer. Thank you. Run back over here. Go into you and make not a bed, a deck extractor. Boop. Ooh. Fancy. This is why it was giving me Subnautica vibes. Because this is how it felt in Subnautica when you're crafting everything in your survival pod. Take deck extractor. Cannot be placed inside. Ooh interesting okay i'll just put you <laughs> there for the moment it's looking like a bloody minigun to the door of a chopper use deck extractor Ooh. so i can grab that i can start disassembling buildings oh my god ah what are you the big floaty thing did i grab you i think i did grab you i got synthetics you guys are made of synthetics. Give me all. Give me all of you. The range of this thing is fan not fantastic. Didn't quite get it. There's so many. There's so many. So what? It's also like raft with just random flotsam floating by that you can grab and use to build yourself a ship. <laughs> this is... I'm really liking this. I've got to move this thing. It's aiming slightly the wrong direction. Got to point it this way. Place you. Jump back on the door gun and grab the rest of the gubbins out of the building here. Take you. Synthetics and metals. Oh my goodness. This feels like a game. Ah, shit. This feels like a game I'm going to accidentally spend a lot of my life in. I'm only like, what, half an hour in? I'm already having a fucking pearl or a time of blind or a pill. Grab all those bottles. Thank you. I've also... Oh, I've also opened up that. There was a door there a second ago. Another thing floating by. Watch out for the flotsam. What is that thing? Nah, can't grab that. It's just a twig. Never mind. See if there's anything else cool I can make out of you. Just a transform. Missing for more of that. I wouldn't mind a cheeky water purifier. Get you crafted up. You're... Well, there's nothing on the lure at the moment, actually. But now that I have the water purifier, I might need a wall to chuck you on. But I'll be able to get myself some water, which will be lovely. You're taking 18 years to craft. So while we're doing that, I'm going to quickly have a gander through this little bit where I opened the door. More machine parts. Oh, I would love some clampy grips. 
Radium. Description. I managed to repair the research station, but uh, there are a few old blueprints preserved on the memory card, like it's a freaking PS1. But the most important one is the scanner. It is necessary to complete its research and craft it. After that, it should scan certain objects in the world uh, so we can acquire more data for blueprint research. I need a battery to run the device. I dug out this old power box from the virus. Oh, what? That's not even close to the word I just read. What are you doing, eyes? Uh, the old power box from the ruins. There you go. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with me. Uh, there should be some batteries inside. All right, thank you. Take the battery. Take the battery. Anything else I can grab out of here? Uh, more machine gun, machine gun parts. More machine parts. Been playing too much seven days to die. Nothing really else. What are you? Research station. All right, I'll go and whack you on me ship. Hold on a second. Do you need to be outside as well? I'm going to put you anywhere. Oh, hold on. Can I not rotate? Oh, R to rotate. Ah, gotcha. You hold R to move the mouse. That's how you swivel things around. I'm going to put you just like there for the moment. It's getting a little cramped. I need some more space. The water purifier is done. Can I put you just like anywhere? Can't put you on that. Can put you... I did go... Blue. Yeah, there we go. I can go blue for a second. Put you like that. Add dirty water. And then I want to bottle dirty water. Oh, wait. No. And so it's going from that one to that one. I thought... Oh, look at it. Look at it. The transparent goodness is going to fuel my life. Nice. Okay. In that case, then... Probably close the door. How do I get some more room? Because it's very, very uh, narrow in here. Was there anything else I could grab out of any of you? Out of range. That's out of range. Another bit of metal just there. I want to go exploring. I want to go see what else I can find. Grab some more of you. Did I leave anything behind? I probably did somewhere. Let's just grab the rest of these fluids and get out of here. My purifier is done. Look at it glistening in the sunshine. Apparently the sun doesn't hurt you. There's so... Oh my god, it's gonna hit me. It's gonna hit me. Oh yeah, you better. If you puncture my balloon, I'm gonna be real upset with you. Can I? I can empty container. Alt and click. There you go. Just tip the water out. It's fine. And then I want to bottle clean water. Nice, Gary. All right, I'm very thirsty. That's coming at the perfect time. Drink. But I'm just going to drink all of you. There you go. I'm going to go and fill up that bottle again and refill my, uh, what we've got, my purifier. So I have water for later on. Up we go. Grab some more out of you. Then we should be ready to set sail into the skies. Bottle all of that. Bottle you. And bottle all of that. Oh, we're looking pretty. Insert the battery. In you go. Hopefully you have a recipe, a blueprint even. It's probably the correct word for an engine. Repair patch, empty bottle. Oh, another empty bottle. Only takes instead. It's got plenty of them. So, all right. I'll quickly whip up one of those bad boys. But I assume this is going to tell me how much battery power I have here. Battery level 100%. So, can't just craft things all willy-nilly. Like, actually got to be paying attention to what I'm doing. Uh, required an extra empty bottle. Thank you. Scanner. I said I needed one of those, so I'll whip up one of those bad boys too. Okay, and I can also make myself machine parts. Oh, I like where this is going. This is giving me the fizz. So I have this new scanner tool. Oh, it locks on, which is kind of handy. Nice, cool. Research engine and fuel. So I just scan one of the things floating in the sky, and like, oh, it gives me like a gives me a jolt of already scanned it. All right, fair whackers then. I can scan the bodies. You're going to tell me who this guy was? He was in charge of operating and maintaining equipment. He designed devices and adapted uh, resources and components he found uh, in use. Fair enough. And I can scan through them. I just want the information now. I want to know everything. What are you? Just scaffolding? Metal scaffolding? Source of metals. I can use the extractor to get it. All right, hang on a second, though. Oh, can I get blueprints this way? Oh, I can too. No, wait, maybe I can't. It tells me I need the empty bottle. All right, fair enough then. But if I can scan things and learn how to craft them, very subnautical-like, then, I mean, I'm going to love it. I love that aspect of it. Who are you? Tell me about you as well. So this is just the research station. So I go through here to get blueprints, then craft it out of that. That works for me. Although, how's my battery looking? Probably not particularly fantastic. I would like... Ooh, a small storage box. I would like an engine and fuel first, though. Get you cracking on. While I'm at it, can I jump on you and grab anything? I can't really see anything through them. Might as well just grab you while you're floating by. I don't think this thing has any power to it. I just realized that my scanner definitely does. There's like a durability bar to it. You're now good. 
quickly craft up an engine. Oh, I have 19. I need one more synthetic. All right, fair enough then. Hold on a second. There's plenty of that floating about. Just grab. Almost. I went behind cover. You. You're made out of synthetic. Give me you. Give me you. And. Oh. Almost give me you. There you go. There you go. Nothing escapes my, my bloody ray of death. Oh, interesting. I tried to research a couple of things, but I don't actually have everything I need for it. I'll research you. So I'm like 80% of the way through a couple of other things. I might even, hang on a second, can I grab you? Q to pick up, I'll just move you. I can hold my inventory actually. And then move you to the other side. Put you over here. Yep, that'll do. Jump on ya and start grabbing all of this because there's pl <laughs> plenty of scaffolding around just disassembling entire buildings. Surely you give me bulk scrap. You kind of do too. Look at that. Look at all the junk everywhere. Oh! Oh, that's so cool. So I took away the support and the building collapsed. I love it. I love this game already. I want to play it forever and ever and ever. I can't quite reach the scaffolding in the middle of the building, which is probably good for it. Might collapse if I start doing that. I was not expecting it to be like that. I was not expecting to actually have consequences me take away parts of buildings, but of course it bloody would. Out of range. You're not though. I thought for a second I was breaking down my fish a little, but nah, it's all fine. All right, jump off you. Try not to fall to your death. You should be good now. Take engine. Engine. Engine go on back. Somewhere. Yep, okay, that'll do. Maximum flight speed increased to 15 kilometers an hour. I need to get some fuel going though. Did I research you yet? I think I did. You, synthetic fuel, craft you up. Oh, almost ready to set sail into the skies. Here you go, hot stuff. There's some fuel for you. It's a part location. We're ready to go. Finish building the airship. Goodbye, everything that was here. I've lived here for two seconds and I enjoyed my time. Close the door. Close the door. I, I, I want to be able to make more room though. I need more room in here. I want to live in a castle in the skies. All right, jump on the controls. Time to go. Time to go. Oh, baby, we're flying. Don't fly through the gap, Josh. Don't fly through the gap. You're not that good. Ah! <laughs> you struggle not to fly on this shit already. Maybe just calm your collective farm there for a second or two. So shifts. Wait, hang on. I can't go up or down. So do I need to... Oh, I can go down. Okay, control is down. Shift is up. Was I already at maximum height? I think I was. All right, then I can swivel around because there's all sorts of metal and stuff that I like and take a bit of a gander. Oh, what a time. What a time this is. There goes another building. Oh, and it's like, oh, yeah, nah, it's caught itself. It's fine. I thought for a second it was going to be like a chain reaction like trees in Valheim. Just knock everything over as it goes. Nothing else really around. All right, now, nah, oh, there's one over there though, out of range. Surely that is where I want to be going though. Fly to the source of the single flashing light. All right, well, that makes sense to me. Make sure we close the doors. Buckle yourselves in because this is going to be a rough bloody ride. This is your captain speaking, and that should not make you feel at ease at all. What is that? Oh, virus. Bonk. Oh, virus down. That's all fine. What is that, like, cluster of locusts out there? I might, uh, close the doors. <laughs> Probably don't want those things flying into my little airship. That would be a relatively bad idea. Although I just realized it's like there's heaps of them. Are all these like fluttery things down? I thought it was just the dust, but is that like... Are they insects and cabbages and whatnot down there? They at least look like spores. That is worrying. Although I kind of want to know, if I swing you about, can I quickly jump on my gun and potentially harvest those things? No, no, I can't. All right, fair enough then. Never mind. Something was out of range out of there, but there's also this thing there. No, that one's already been collapsed. That one is also out of range. Come on, get some extra length on ya. Gonna make another insect lure because I wouldn't mind another couple of snacks. My energy's low. My food is low. My water is low. Though I have plenty of water, so I'll use you. Slurp, slurp, slurp. Up you go. Grab that insect lure and chuck it onto you. Lure menu, take that, and then 
chuck you down. There's plenty of flying things around, so lure it over. I mean, in fairness, there's swarms of them up here. Just stick your mouth out and start chewing whatever flies into it like you're eating spiders in your sleep. We're almost there, though. We're almost to the light. I need to have a nap at some point soon, no? Uh, unfortunately, there's no room for a bed in here. It's all very small. Oh, it's a fat boy. Fat dust moth, thank you. I'm going to lower you back down again. Chuck you. Chuck that chonky thing right into you. Ingredient and water. <laughs> I'm pressure cooking the moth. <laughs> That's a little bit gross, but all right. Stick it in there like a lobster. No humane cooking here. All right, what are you? What are you, and are you going to give me the ability to sleep? Because I desperately need a nap. Land on a location with a single flashing light. All right, I got gotcha. you. You've caught something. Quickly raise you up. You're still happily cooking away. What are you bringing me this time? Another dust moth. Thank you. This was good to me. Just plonk you down if I can. Right on the little platform. Perfect. The preliminary analysis started. All right. Wait, can I get my scanner out? I can. Uh, that's a long way to scan, but it's going to work for me. Wrecked basic turbine. <gasps> and it did unlock the ability to just research a basic turbine. I love it. I love it so much. Boiled fat dust moth. Nom, nom, nom. Get it in. I'm also going to chuck you immediately in as well. Boil you up. I need a nap. I need a nap. I need more floor space. Oh, come on, pressure cooker. You overcooked me food, but I'll eat you anyway. Thank you for that. You're quickly making me a bed. Can I squeeze you in? I mean, kind of. It's it's not it's not great. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. You come with me. Uh, let's get you out of there so I can pick you up and just move you to anywhere else. It's Q, not G. Container, container not empty. Oh, right. Hang on a second. Grab you. There you go. Can I pick you up again and chuck my bed there? Instead, rest is recommended. No whackers. Well, before we go exploring the new joint, have a cheeky kip. Are there night cycles? Are there day cycles? Oh, hey, you're sleeping for a long time. That's like, that's like several days worth of sleep. Calm down there, champion. That's like a full 12 hours. That's ridiculous. I'm going to go and have a little gander around this. Oh, radio tower. I have researched a fabricate. Oh, no. A water condenser. I already had one of those, didn't I? Okay, that's fine. The research station is doing things back home again. I can probably scrap you. Ooh. Scrap you when I get back to my ship on the door gun. Electrical elements. Scan you first. I'll, I can't scan the transformer, but I can take the rest of you. Another battery. Thank you. Should I have scanned that first? I maybe should have scanned that first. Hang on. Hang on. You. Throw it on the ground. Can't scan. Okay, can't scan. That's fine. Throwing things away is a risky move. You never know if you can get it back again or not. I'm trying to scan absolutely everything. So if I do want to build myself a kick-ass airship, I have everything available to me. More electrical elements. Take all of you. Ooh. Repair patch. I'll quickly scan you. You're going to mean that I don't have to research you in the thing, though I doubt that. Anything else? More repair patches. I'll keep my balloon afloat. This is good. This is good. I really like how this game is panning out. A lantern. Nice. An ornamental lamp once used to decorate apartments. Well, I've got a floating apartment, so that works for me. Another insect lure, machine parts. Lots of gubbins everywhere. And a data card. I didn't scan it. I didn't scan it. Probably should have. Oh, well, too late now. Add more fuel. Thank you. Well, call me Jack because I'm about to climb a beanstalk. Hopefully, there's no giants at the top, but hopefully, there is a golden goose. Up we go. Climb the lily pads like a very nimble frog. Mm, nothing good. Just some wheels that I can't do much with. I'll grab the water out of you and I'll take all of you with me. Oh, I can't take. We have to get the gun to do that. All right, fam. Let's keep going up, though. I need to find. What am I doing? I need to find the location, the double flashing lights, and research the airship builder. The airship needs to be exp expanded with the airship builder to reach its full potential. Oh, we can start expanding. We can start expanding. That's all I wanted to do. I guess that's the double flashing light. There are two lights that are blinking at me. I can scan the swarm. Moth swarm. 
Small foraging large groups to ensure their safety, individuals separate from the flock in search for food and return when their hunger is satisfied. The swarm is vigilant and scatters whenever there is danger. Due to their poor eyesight, it would be possible to catch them with the proper equipment. I can get us a big fuck off net and gather all of the all of the flappy things. That sounds fine to me. Can I do anything else here? I don't really think so. I think I'm all done and dusted. All right, let's get back to the ship, break this place down and set sail again. I did find some bulk fuel on my adventure. So can we open the fuel tank there? Well, not some bulk fuel, just some fuel. Chuck you in. I thought I found way more than that, but I guess none. Got heaps of metal, got some transformers, got all sorts of good things. All right, you, most importantly, you, I want to quickly research that's just chucking the electric components i need some thin synthetics i'll get that in just a moment but to do that gotta take on back off again shift goes up there we go i just want to get myself in a nice position to start breaking down this entire little compound here some poor sods built himself an apartment and it's about to all become mine give me all of you I'm just out here going fishing for a couple of you. Need a couple more synthetics to make my airship build a thing home. Grab all of that. Thank you. Got my fishing lure down to try and get myself some more lettuces. You are now good to go. Airship builder, get you research. Because I'm getting pretty bloody peckish. I could use a moth or seven. Just go and fly through that swarm and let it all fly in my mouth. Raise up you. What have you got for me? Another cabbage. Thank you. I'll chuck you straight into the boiler. Boiled cabbage. Who doesn't love it? Chuck it in. Chuck it in. Boil you. Nice. So, airship builder. Where are you? Engines. Synthetic fuel. No. Machine parts. No. Airship builder. You. I need more synthetics, Dan. Finally crafting up my airship builder. It's going to take a little while, but I'm fine with that. I'll likely need metal and probably more synthetics to actually put it all together. I'm going to quickly grab you so i have someone to chuck you a lantern so i can see you can just go there how do i no not there how do i turn you on oh i can stick you to walls and the ceiling all right fair enough then you can just <laughs> go like that then gravity be damned you're now done airship build um but put you down oh no i trying to put it down it's just like you just put it on your arm all right like i'm a freaking predator you small cockpit room I need synthetics to do it. No, I've only got seven. I need 30. Oh, but ladder room as well. I can build more. I can build so much more. All right, let's have a look at how this works. So you, room. Blocked by equipment. What equipment? What? What? What do you mean? What? What do you mean equipment? Uh, do I have to get rid of you then? Hold on a second. Let me quickly just grab you back if I have to. Q to pick up. Grab you. And probably... Oh, hang on a second. I have to put I have to put one of you down. Uh, bed. Let's grab you and just chuck you anywhere. We'll do. I think. Yep. Sure. Just like that. It's getting very claustrophobic in here, but that's okay. Grab you and just move you to like that side. Okay. Four. I would like a room, please. Oh. Right. It's the engine. All right. Never mind then. Hold on a second. Let me quickly grab you. I probably should have done this when I was landed on the side, but too late now. I, I I forgot. Hang on a second. Consume you. There you go. Boiled lettuce. Delicious. For once in my life, I'm trying to be clever and I've landed so I can actually start building things. Chuck you like that. Ooh. Yeah, let's get let's get some real distance going on it. How much more polymers do I have? I've got enough for one more room. However, I just kind of want to expand out to the side and really make this a nicer place to be. It'll make it a bit harder to use my door gun, but uh, maybe I'll just go all the way down to there then that'll do that'll do nicely i need an engine to actually go anywhere although the like the more that my ship weighs does that mean that it's maximum flight speed increased that's backwards isn't it all right that wasn't very very clever of me but the more that like, my ship weighs does that mean it's gonna get harder and harder to fly the thing because that would make the most amount of sense i'll put you like you there open fuel tank and chuck you in like that i might need an extra engine oh look at all the room we have now so much room for activities it's raining outside. I don't think I have any water collectors, but that's what I want to build on the side of my ship. But I guess I'm underneath a big tarp. Doubt I'll catch anything. What do I actually need to do here? I need to build a new wall on the ship and find location double lights. But I'm too busy building things right now. I would like a wall. Plastic wall. Oh, great. Now, <laughs> now I can't get through the rest of my house. I need 
all the more bloody polymers to get back in there. Hang on a second. Let's get rid of you. Thank you. Take that back again. That was a great idea to start with, but not really what I had in mind. I'm definitely going to need to readjust some things to make this work a little bit better for me because at the moment, it's uh, a bit all over the shop, but it is my ship and I love my ship ever so. I want to make you bigger. Bigger and better and more powerful. I'm about to break the cockpit and expand that a little bit as well. But I'm going to have to leave this episode here, I think. I'm having so much fun. I actually really, really like how this game is coming together. It is only an early access at the moment, so there's so much more to put into it. But how could you not love it? Building myself an airship to explore the world? That just tickles all of me giblets. We'll have to leave this episode here and come back and continue to build airships and explore the world of viruses in another episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked like to make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.